Afternoon again, everybody. It's the Dark Comic Nerd, and we're doing something a little different today, guys. We're going to do an unboxing, and uh, as you guys can see, I'm doing, if you guys have just got finished watching my um, new comics video, we're doing a day of just sitting here in the chair doing some videos on my lap. Um, I'm that lazy today, so I'm trying to get some videos done. Um, frankly, uh, we're doing an unboxing of The Day Alive 2, as you guys can see. This is the second season of The Day Alive series. This is put out by Funimation, which I hate to admit to because Funimation really hosed over uh, Vic Mignogna for no other reason other than he was a Christian. And the thing is, is that they're a bunch of scumbags. But uh, that's who owns the rights to this stuff. I like the anime, so there we go. Um, it does not mean i want to support the company that produces it so and just in case you guys are uh, thinking about it there we go there we go funimation puts that out now it's put out by a company called kodisha i think uh or no excuse me uh katakawa and i'm I, my apologies to all japanese people i know i'm pronouncing that wrong um that particular company you do not see them putting out much anymore. I think they were bought out and absorbed by another company. So, uh, But I do see them put out a lot of stuff that I actually like. So uh, it's commonplace for me to pick up stuff that is made by them or, or produced by them. I actually don't know exactly where they fit in the grand scheme of putting this stuff out. Now, as you can see, guys, which I'm sorry, I guess uh, when I stuck my hand in the way, it's, it's being a little dick um so let's use my thumb here uh it's a blu-ray dvd combo pack uh this sucker cost me about 50 bucks because it was let's see if we can find it it was put out um let's see if i can find it guys give me a minute um i'm actually going to use my um tablet here as kind of a uh, magnifier glass let's see if i can actually find it anywhere i cannot but I can tell you that this particular, um, I thought it would be in the copyright, but this particular manga was put out a long, long time ago. Let's just put it that way. Um, uh, so the fact that uh, there's still copies that they're making of um, season two is surprising. But of course, season three came out recently. It's uh, something you can find uh, just as simple as going on Hulu or yes, you can find it on Funimation's uh app if you pay for it uh, which i admit i have it um i'm not proud of it but it's just like i'm not proud of having netflix after the cuties disaster but yet if i want to watch my seven deadly sins i need to have it uh because it's not like it's easy and this is just proof guys right here 50 something bucks um so it costs you good money so everybody thinking that oh so there's a bunch of people that are going to argue well just go watch it for free online you can download it yeah because that's what I want to do. I'd rather do the illegal things. Sure. Uh, no. No. I'd rather not if I can help it. And I'd rather have one so that when those websites are taken down, which they will be eventually, and they no longer are able to show it on the streaming services, however long that takes, I have a physical copy of something I enjoy. Now, this falls in the harem. They call it a harem line of of um manga or anime series meaning that there's one male character and all the female characters uh basically have an interest in him and it always ensues with comic insanity and that's why i like this it's not because i want to put it out there it's not because um they show a lot of tna um this is for mature people meaning you should be over 18 before you're watching this um i want to put it out there right now that that is not why I bought this. Um, and there is plenty of stuff out there that shows a lot more TNA um, than this one. And yes, I've seen it. And yes, I watch it. And yes, I own it. Am I particularly proud of that? No. I could watch this stuff without the TNA. I could watch it without the butts and the boobs. I do not need to. It's funny because of what happens to the main character and the main character comes off as kind of a hero he's always um doing the right thing even when it's tough um he's always in these comedic situations that are awkward the women always put him in these situations um there's always a love interest between him usually in the very first character that is introduced in the series 
Um, they never get to really um, build on it much because all these other women come in. But um, the thing is, is, there's some good stuff. And there's a lot of good voice actors I like in this. Alexis, Alex uh, Tipton or Alexis Tipton. Um, uh, oh, gosh, what's her name? Uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember her name. <laughs> uh, she's got a weird name, um, but she's in a lot of stuff. Um, that is stuff like um, Angel Beats. And uh, she does the main character in Angel Beats, and um, she's in a lot of other stuff. And she's got, I, w I really wish I could remember the name because by saying all that, it, it doesn't mean a lot to you guys. Um, it's like Kabowski or something like that is her, is her last name, I think. So um, now here's the premise behind this, guys. Um, a lot of you that have never watched the, the first season, it's going to not mean a whole lot, but I'm going to do this anyway. Um, so it says, Kiss the Girls, Save the World. The premise is this is based on a mobile game, if I'm not mistaken. It's based on a video game, if I recall correctly. Um, something like a combination between a dating app and an actual choose-your-own-adventure thing. Um, the idea is there's this guy named Shido. And it says, so Shido is a uh, assemble of adorable aliens because they're called spirits. Um, they're not really aliens per se. They're aliens in this, as in they're not native to this earth. Are back in the second season of this sci-fi rom-com romp which is is basically kind of why i have it guys it's a rom-com it's it really is and it, it's an anime rom-com and it's got a lot of action and like i said the main character yes he's white yes he's male yes you can suck it you can pound it up your rear end because the thing is is that i don't care about all those people out there that say oh well i don't want a male and i don't want a white male especially saving women i want women empowerment me, me, me. shut up go somewhere else if you're here to see women empowerment i got an idea for you take all you women friends that believe in the same concept as you move to an island far 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 away like australia far and you could start empowering each other and worshiping each other and worshiping a female god who doesn't exist as much as you want take your crap take your woke sgw snowflake crap and go stick it because we don't have none of that here here i'm enjoying this where the character is white, he is male, there are women that are attracted to him, there is no big diversity or anything else in this, you know what, and frankly, that made no impact on why I like this, but the fact of the matter is, is because there's not a lot of that in here, means that nowadays with what's going on, I like it even more, so eat it, so here we go guys, um, I, I, I don't hear Shido's name mentioned a lot in the full context, so this is going to be, what is it, Itsaka, yeah, Usaka Shido was once a normal high school, this will give you guys some background, but after a space quake started by an armored girl rocked his world, life was never the same. Toka, which is the main character here, but she looks different, this is an inverse version of her, it's a, something you'd have to watch the, the second season to get. Um, the extra cute extraterrestrial which she's she's a funny quirky little thing that's kind of a dit so it's really funny uh and she's always jealous of all these other girls so it's really funny continue to wreak havoc until shido sealed her powers with a loving kiss for a guy whose kiss can seal a spirit shido's still not great with the ladies which it's funny because one of the characters not one of the spirits but one of the normal high school girls which you have to watch the series she's really into him and nothing he says can get rid of her it's funny she's really obsessed with him uh, in addition to the sealed spirits he already must appease he's got three more beautiful girls with volatile powers vying for his attention and with a mysterious organization on the hunt for toka the dem's various attempts to subdue fraxis and a new lady loving spirit shido can kiss his um, normal life goodbye now there's a couple things guys for special features and stuff here news flash commentaries textless song which is probably the opening song and some trailers for their other stuff um 280 minute runtime guys so there's a fair number of episodes i think it's a 12 episode season most of them usually are um this girl here, she's a villain. These are the other new spirits that are involved. This is the one that's a lesbian. But by the time he's done with her, she's kind of bi. I'm sorry, but, you know, the way it works is is that um, it seems like every anime, 
not every anime, but 90% of them has to have a female character who's into other female characters. It's like a, it's like an anime trope. So, frankly, I know that in Japan they don't do it for woke points. It's just, let's be honest, they got a lot of perverts over in Japan. They're into everything. Lolita, Gothita, uh, Lady on Lady Action, which they call Yuri. Male on Male Action, which I forget the name of, thank the Lord. Um, they're into all this crazy stuff. It's, it's nothing is, there's, there's a fan group for everything. It's, it's creepy. It's. It's major creepy, and I bet you're wondering why are you watching this stuff then? Because this is funny. I can bypass all the stuff that makes me cringe and just go with what's funny. The poor guy who all these women are trying to, like, you know, snuggle up to him in more ways than one, and he's getting all embarrassed, and he actually acts like a decent man. He acts like a somebody that is... A decent person. Instead of going after these women with lust, he tries to get away from all the, you know, and especially as a teenager, he tries to get away from these women and their advances. So the thing is, is that usually your male characters in these harem style stuff, um, they're decent people and they stand up for the women. And yes, they rescue the women, but yes, the women rescue him a fair amount of times too. So the thing is, is that they need each other. And these are, you know, good concepts in the world we're in right now. Where in this series, the woman, Toka, which is one of the main characters, but a lot of other side characters are always there for him. And he does the right thing for them, trying to defend them, even at the cost of his own life a few times. Which doesn't kill him fatally. You'd have to watch it to know what the deal is. But... These are things that, if you can look past the other tropes and the other things that are kind of cringy, uh, to me, it's a good series, and I like it, and that's why I picked it up, um, but it was expensive because they're starting to run down on the number of copies they're putting out of this. Season 3 is out right now, they're already starting to put Season 3 out on Blu-ray and DVD, and um, as they put out new seasons, a lot of the old seasons fall by the wayside, and it's harder to get them without paying Buko Bucks. Now, I have the first season of this, but I have it in a save version, S-A-V-E. I won't explain what that means, but it basically makes it a lot cheaper because Funimation puts out a bunch of those every once in a while so that they can um, get people hooked on this stuff. I was hooked on it before they put out that version, but it made it half the price of what this cost. I only got mine for like 20 bucks. And I got a full first season, but they they do it so they can get you hooked, and then you buy the further you buy the next couple seasons that come out. Now season three of this took forever to come out. There was a huge gap of time in between it, so that's why season three just came out. I think in the last year or two, and maybe the last two years possibly. I think they only dubbed it over here maybe in the last year, and that's why I wish I could figure out when the timeline is for this when this was put out, um, so I could tell you guys what the gap of time is between it. So, oh, and I was wrong, guys. It says here 10 episodes, so my bad. Um, so, OVA on two DVDs. Um, that means that if you're watching um, the DVD copies, it they needed to put it on, you know, two DVDs instead of, like, one Blu-ray. So, there's probably three discs in total here. Uh, we're going to find out. Now, I've been, I have not, I've been watching this on Funimation's app. Like I said, I still can. I just like the idea i don't know if this is another one of their funimation disasters where it's been censored but uh from what i've seen oh gosh i don't believe they censored anything in this oh gosh no i don't think this, this, this i don't think this series knew the definition of the word censored so um same deal guys nothing nothing different on the inside of the sleeve we're gonna put the sleeve down for the time being and then we're gonna take a look at what we got guys and so here we go here's a list of the uh, episodes that are in here. There's one of our new characters. I forget her name. I think it's just Diva. Um, and then on the back side, inside here are the other two girls uh, that are twins. And I think they're like I think they're like called the Hurricane Twins or something like that. I know that's the name of the episode. Oh, actually, excuse me, Hurricane Children. Uh, I don't know if there's a fancy name, but they usually give every spirit some kind of some kind of like like short-term name like some of the other characters um 
Uh, Toka in this one is named Princess. Um, the other younger girl, um, whose name I can't remember right now, is named Hermit, and, and so on and so forth. So the so these um, these people that are always trying to destroy these spirits, whereby Shido is part of an organization that tries to save them, and he has some kind of power, which I'm sure by some movie or something will we'll figure out how it happens he can seal away these spirits um and um he gains their powers he actually can use their powers and the thing is is that that makes them regular run-of-the-mill girls they can still use their powers in extreme situations um but for the most part whenever he kisses these girls um they lose their powers and become normal and the people that are trying to destroy them, it makes it harder for them to track them down and kill them. Even though they know that a lot of these girls, they're like, hey, wait a minute. This girl here looks a lot like the spirit we were tracking. And it's like, yes, yes, they kind of they kind of have to like suspend logic and go, well, we're just going to ignore that little detail. Now, there is one spirit um, in this that is pure evil. And um, she basically um, is... Uh, I don't want to say one of the big villains, but I think she knows more than she's letting on about what's going on. And a lot of these girls, like this girl here, was created by another spirit and was given spirit-based powers. Uh, Shido's sister in the series has spirit-based powers. Um, and then these girls were originally one spirit, and then that one spirit separated and then turned into these two spirits, which uh, the personalities of the two spirits are just, just crazy i mean they're just nuts it's it's so funny um so here we go guys we're looking at the dvds this has got toka in a uh, school uniform that i don't think i've seen before but it, it looks nice so episodes one through um seven are on this one i love the way they do these dvds they're actually beautiful the way they're engraved like that and then we're gonna have to do this one and then there is the tomai uh, I think they, these two sisters were originally a spirit called Tomai, and now they're, they uh, are introduced. See, only episodes 8 through 10 in OVA. Um, the thing is, is that uh, I just love the way that it looks. If you hit it with the right light, it almost looks like it's um, an inverse, a negative picture of them. It's, it's just absolutely gorgeous, the engraving they give these. You can actually feel it on the disc. Um, which we won't do too much of that because we don't want to smudge it, but you can actually feel the engraving. It's gorgeous. But um, these two spirits that used to be one, they're always fighting against each other and uh, trying to see who's better. It's, it's just so funny. And then in the long run of things, it's, it's great by the episode they're in, they realize that they want to sacrifice each other. Um, they want to um, be the one that is sacrificed so the original spirit could come back because what happens is, is with these two sisters, only one can survive to become the new Tamai. And the other one will just cease to exist. And what Shido does is he makes it so that they can both exist. But when he first meets them, they're trying to compete to see who's going to be the the new Tamai. And one, one sister is sacrificing herself so the other one can be the new Tamai. And the other one's doing the same thing. and it's there are lessons and heartfelt things in this that make it a good series. So I don't care what anybody says about having butts and boobs, TNA. Um, there is nudity. It's not super prominent. Um, so they do try to at least be a little subtle about it. Thank goodness. But, um, you know, there are some good messages in here. The main character is always sacrificing himself for these girls, uh, putting himself in harm, putting himself in harm's way, to um save them sometimes from themselves um i mean it's an it's an admirable thing and you don't see that too much anymore but uh, i also have an anime called shuffle and uh the thing is is in that one um it's almost the same these girls are all trying to become this one guy's fiance and in the long run of things in the shuffle thing the guy actually kills himself um just to kind of force the, the the girl that I think he likes, and she definitely likes him, but she doesn't want to admit to it. He actually kills himself to um, make her use her powers so it'll save her life. He actually slits his wrists, literally. So 
I'm telling you, um, these things, people don't give them quite the credit that these animes deserve because there are some good messages that sacrifice. And a lot of times it's the male characters that sacrifice themselves, but the females do it sometimes too. Um, but thank goodness a lot of times they, they come back to life because there wouldn't be much of a story without them. But these characters, um, there's stuff in these these animes that are is just it's amazing to know that um we probably put more into cartoons and animes and stuff like that that we would like to be ourselves than we really are we really would like to be like these characters and we really aren't so it's amazing that we put it into the actual anime so i have a lot of admiration for the people that make these because uh, and particularly write them. And a lot of times they're based... Uh, this is based off a light novel, actually, come to think of it. Um, the anime is by itself a light novel. I don't know. I thought it was a game, too, because there's references kind of to the game in the in the anime, I thought, but what do I know? But I know, actually, come to think of this, is based off a light novel, and I'm currently reading it. And um, the guy who wrote the light, no light novel, he... He does good work, and he, I think he, you know, what he did with the main character is uh, is good. It's really good. And now, here's the Blu-rays, guys. Here's D.Va. Blu-ray's going to have episodes. Uh, I'm trying to see, guys. I actually can't tell because of the shine off it. One through eight. And then, so basically, it is like the DVDs. My apologies. And then um, the final two, which I'm trying to get the, the thing to show you guys if I can. Uh, 9 and 10 and the OVA are on that. So it is exactly like the DVD. My apologies. Usually they can cram a lot more into a DVD. I mean, to a Blu-ray. So I'm surprised it didn't end up being one Blu-ray um, with all the episodes on it. And then here's the, the you know, the villain. Uh, she's not the main villain, but she's kind of the sidekick to the main villain. She's in love with him. You can tell. And the thing is, is that the main villain stays behind the scenes. If you've ever seen DC Comics, uh, this would be like Mercy to Lex Luthor, um, where she's an or she's a really ultra powerful character with all this like heavy, you know, armor and weaponry, and she can really match with any spirit. And she's always trying to go after uh, Toka. And if you watch the series, you'll see why, because Toka is very important. Uh, I think they try to build her up because she was the first spirit that Shido ever, you know, had feelings for. Um, and the thing is, is that um, they, you know, basically do something really crazy by the end. And uh, we get to see a very evil version of Toka that is... Uh, very uncaring and uh, they have to do something everybody has to kind of gang together to bring her back but of course they put most of the focus on Shido and the thing is, is that I like it because it shows a very strong connection between the two characters without making it kinky or anything crazy it's actually a uh, what I would almost call a pure love connection because it's about emotions and sacrifice, self-sacrifice, and, um, you know, and like I said, connections between the two main characters, and not about the fact that she's got, you know, big boobs, or she's super cute, or any of this stuff. It's just one of those things that it's like, I like my anime with these kind of sometimes unbuilt romances between characters they kind of hint at it but don't go uh sometimes they don't even get a first kiss and the thing is is that um the, you know that kind of stuff i'm a romantic at heart so this kind of stuff appeals to me um but like i said i want to make sure that everybody knows that this is very much mature audience i will actually try to find it if i can but i don't think i have it on here um Sometimes they'll actually put ratings on stuff like they do with movies and tell you, oh, okay, so TV 14, guys, they recommend that you're over 14. I recommend you're over 18 if you're going to get this. And But I, I want to make sure that everybody knows the good points of this series so they don't all think it's about breasts and, and uh, you know, butts. You know, it's all about seeing the women's butts and the, their boobs and, uh, you know, them being naked and it's all about getting a cheap thrill. That's that's not what I'm into. I'm into the fact that I don't necessarily like watching rom-coms 
that we have in the Hollywood theater, but the way that they sometimes do it with anime, it's a, it's a step beyond. And uh, if any of you guys are into stuff like that, um, I, I like this. Um, I like Seki Ray. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I watched that's kind of in the same category. Um, uh, Monster Mizumi. And a lot of that stuff is very mature rating. But, and the guy gets in situations that probably most men would have a heart attack from how much, you know, how much skin to skin contact there is. But the thing is, is that, you know, what's funny is, is that I like the fact that the main characters in these, uh, and everything I just listed always resist temptation. Always. They always resist temptation and become up and come out better people, um, every single time. And that's an admirable quality. It's not something I'm going to be saying that people should watch on a regular basis to get a warm and fuzzy feeling about, um, you know, morality and other things and self-sacrifice. But if those are qualities you find admirable, you'll find that in this, guys. So, uh, so I wanted to give it a different spin. It's not all about the women in their chests. You guys can see it, obviously. Short skirts, all kinds of other crazy stuff. There is more to anime, guys, and I definitely recommend this to anybody who's into romantic comedies. Um, they do call them harem style. That sounds very dirty uh, because of what we all think of as harems from the Bible or from anywhere else. But um, basically, that just means there's one guy and a lot of girls. But this guy is an example of in a lot of ways of what all men should be chivalrous, um, resisting temptation, self-sacrifice, um, a lot of things that real men should be. And there's probably other messages that aren't so moral and heartfelt in here, but you know what guys, even life itself is about taking the good and the bad and knowing what's, what's right and what you should take and the things that are wrong that you should leave behind. So I just wanted to show you guys my unboxing, give you guys a little bit of my critique. Found the whole series funny as crap. Totally recommend it, but you really should be over 18. I don't care what the rating says. If you watch this, it's very... The only reason they give it TV 14 is because I don't think there's any really bad words. And um, they try to make the nudity very subtle. But you know what the problem is, guys, is it's still there. It's a lot of times it's very fan service. It's very much for the particular crowd of perverts down in Japan, which is not all Japanese people, but there is a, there is a faction, you know, we all know it. And the thing is, is that they're big into that kind of stuff. I am not here for that. I like the storyline and that's why I'm reading a book, an actual novel that isn't all about showing, you know, zoom ins on the you know tna so trust me if i wanted if if i was in it for just the you know showing of the skin i wouldn't be reading the book so but i'll actually do a review on that later on too guys because i'm plugging through that and i got some other reviews i want to do so this is the uh unboxing video for data live season two uh the blu-ray dvd uh combo pack and I am going to do another video later on, but I'm going to take a break and I'm going to go back to playing some video games. It's a little bit after 530. I do want to do a big, big pop Funko Pops uh, video later on. But um, uh, let's just say I want to get a little more, more prepared and I want to have some dinner. So in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the other video earlier. If you did. Uh, feel free to leave a like and a comment and if you want to see stuff like this even though i don't do a lot of this but i am going to try to do it more often um subscribe but you don't really have to if you don't want to in the meantime guys you have a wonderful rest of your wednesday